Hi, Dr. Taylor here again, and we're going to talk about how poor brain function can give low thyroid. So, what we're looking at here is just an outline of a brain. We have the hypothalamus in here, we have the pituitary here, and then we have the thyroid outside of the brain here. So what the hypothalamus does is it releases thyrotropin releasing hormone. Thyrotropin releasing hormone goes to the pituitary. The pituitary releases TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. You've heard TSH about a million times if you've ever dealt with the thyroid. Um, and then the thyroid does once it gets the TSH is it releases T4 and a little bit of T3. So T4 is the inactive hormone. T3 is the active hormone. So how does brain function play into that? Well, as you see, the hypothalamus and the pituitary are both in the brain. Now, the starting point is the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus has a place in it called the paraventricular neurons. These paraventricular neurons are sensitive to T4, T3. T4 and T3 levels start to come down. What will happen is the paraventricular nucleus will release thyrotropin-releasing hormone, which starts this whole cascade. So what these paraventricular neurons need is they need certain levels of dopamine and serotonin. So if you don't have proper dopamine and serotonin in the brain or in the body, um, these paraventricular neurons aren't going to work like they're supposed to, which will mess up this whole cycle. So, um, you know, dopamine and serotonin are needed for a lot of other things in the body too. I mean, dopamine does things like gives focus, um, motivation, um, lots of you actually enjoy things. Serotonin does um, happiness self-confidence, it helps with sleep and digestion. And serotonin is actually needed, you know, further down the line, we're talking about liver. Liver converts 60% of T4 to T3, so the inactive hormone to the active hormone. And one of the cofactors needed for that is serotonin. So it works different places as far as the, the chain of the thyroid goes. Um, so dopamine and serotonin, so what can decrease dopamine and serotonin that'll cause this issue? Uh, things like stress, you know, specifically, I mean, you can get emotional, you can get physical, you can have trauma. Um, you know, one of the biggest stressors in the body that you can have is dysregulated blood sugars, either too high or too low. So dysglycemia, these up and down blood sugars, uh, are a huge stress in the body that can affect dopamine and serotonin levels. Also B vitamins. So B vitamins are needed to convert the amino acids into the final byproducts of dopamine and serotonin. So the amino acids needed is tyrosine for dopamine and um, tryptophan for serotonin. So if you don't have these B vitamins to convert your amino acids into serotonin and dopamine, obviously your levels are gonna be decreased. So take that even a step further, we're talking about the MTHFR gene, so the methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, deals specifically with B vitamins. So if you have an issue with that particular gene, you're not going to be able um, to have B vitamins like you're supposed to, even if you're taking them and, and eating them because you have the gene defect. So in essence, because of the gene defect, you're going to have decreased B vitamins, which is going to decrease your um, ability to convert amino acids into dopamine and serotonin, which give you lower levels. So there's a lot of things that can affect it through, through the system, through, as you can see. So that's why we do the genetic testing. That's why we do the blood testing. That's why we do all the testing that we do to figure out where in the whole line of things the issue actually is. If you're just having TSH checked and maybe T4 checked, a blood test, when you go into your, your practitioner, you're missing a huge amount of things that can affect the thyroid. And that's what needs to be figured out to really help people with these issues. So my name is Dr. Taylor and I hope that helps.